Many of you are wasting so much opportunity. Many of you are wasting so much gifts and talent that when anybody looks at you, that person will be moved to tears at the kind of things you are wasting. We have come there before you and now we are telling you with the gift of insight. There are things that I didn't learn at your age that when I still remember it, I feel beaten. But I can't reverse the hand of time. I just keep believing that future will be better. We are now telling you, as those who have passed this stage before you, the things you need to do. And what are you doing about it? Norman Cousin made a quote, and I want you to pay attention to this quote. The person, the person said, The greatest tragedy is not that you will die. No. The greatest tragedy is what dies inside of you while you are still alive. What dies inside of you while you are still alive. I think Chimamanda captured it so well. I was reading her book, A Communist Manifest. Um, like I was reading her book, um, um, 50, um, How to Raise a, Dear Ijaware, How to Raise a Young Girl as a Feminist in 15 Suggestions. Number three of the suggestions she gave, she narrated the story of a young girl, a Nigerian girl, Nigerian woman, who met her at a function where she went to deliver a talk. And the lady told Chima Amanda that when I was young, I had interest in football. Dread wasn't my team. I was behaving like boy. I was boyish. But my mother kept forcing me to start behaving like a girl. And I was grateful that my mother helped me to start behaving like a girl. Chima Amanda said that she was saddened by this story. And what saddened her by this story? She said, I wonder what part of her life she needed to suppress. Who knows if she had given expression to that boyish part of her life, she would have ended up maybe one of the remarkable footballer, female footballers in the world today. There are things that can die in you while you are still alive. It could be your dream of being a medical doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. There is no child without a dream. Go to primary school now and ask them, what do you want to be tomorrow? They will tell you, I want to be a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, this or that. But maybe tomorrow, you end up a beggar on the street out there. With all the opportunities given to you, you end up a beggar. That dream of being a medical doctor, a lawyer, an engineer will be buried with you. Watch it. Don't allow your dream to die while you are still alive. 